Hey everyone, I'm Graham with Gulf Air Marine Adventure Park. And I'm hanging out here with Magnolia, our albino alligator. Magnolia here is an albino alligator. She is still an American alligator, so it's the same species that are found throughout Florida. Uh, she just has a genetic trait that makes her all white. There are a couple different genetic traits that make alligators white. Uh, albinism, which is what a magnolia here is, and then there's also leucism. Uh, leucistic alligators tend to have a blue or darker pigmented eye, and a lot of times they have naturally colored uh, spots of skin along their body as well. So magnolia being an albino alligator, uh, they do have some challenges that come along with that. Uh, one of which is their eyesight. Their eyesight is fairly poor, and they can't see all that well. Most albinos can't see all that well. So a lot of our training that we do with her takes that into consideration. So whenever we're training with her, we use a lot of sounds, uh, very bright colors, things like that when, uh, when we are training her. Station Max. Next station. Now crocodilians actually have three eyelids. They have one called the nictitating membrane that they use to cover their eye whenever underwater. Now that eyelid doesn't help them to see underwater, but it does help protect their eye from bumping into rocks or logs as they're moving through the water. Now we always get asked about their pink eyes. Albino alligators do have a pinkish colored eye and that's actually comes from the blood vessels that are behind the eye. And the lack of pigment in the eye allows us to see those blood vessels, uh, giving it that pinkish color. So alligators and all crocodilians have some pretty unique features. Uh, they have the bony armor. They are built uh, like tanks. They have a bony armor covering their entire back. Uh, they're actually uh, called osteoderms. They're, they're these bony plates right underneath all of the scales along their entire back. Again, that adds as a lot of protection for them. It also does a number of other things, including helping with uh, keeping their body warm and blood flow uh, when it's cooler out. Magnolia here is about 14 years old and around seven feet long. Uh, she is a female. Now she can reach a size of up to about 10 feet in length and they can live to uh, 70, 80, 90, or even 100 years old. We work a lot with our crocodilians to do desensitization training as well as other husbandry training uh, so that we can do mock physicals and do a really good visual exam over their whole body, making sure that any uh, small cuts or abrasions we can take care of if needed. Our alligators, some of them have also been trained to come up to a station and that allows us to do things like voluntary blood draws, radiographs or x-rays, and even get weights on them uh, just by bringing them to their station. We do exams like blood draws, radiographs, weights on a regular basis uh, that allows us to take the best care possible of these animals. The training is all completely voluntary and they can choose whether or not to participate and can uh, leave a session anytime they choose to. Another sense that alligators have are called integumentary sensory organs. They're pretty hard to tell on an albino alligator, but they have these small dots lining their top and bottom jaws. Those dots are actually little pressure uh, sensors that can, they can feel when fish or mammals or anything are swimming by their pond or drinking out of the water, and they can use that to locate prey when they are underwater, uh, as they do so a lot of times when they are hunting. They'll rest just below the surface of the water uh, wait for something to come by and then lunge up and grab it. So they use very quick short bursts of energy most of the time when they are hunting. So albino alligators are very rare and you don't see them too often, especially out in the wild. Their normal pigment helps them blend in and acts as a camouflage to help them hide uh, from predators. Baby alligators especially have a really tough time and not too many of them survive to adulthood, part of why a female can lay up to 50 eggs in the nest. Uh, so Magnolia here is, we are lucky to have her. Uh, albino alligators, there are probably only around 50 adults, uh, mostly living in facilities like ours. Alligators do have ears, even though a lot of times people can't really see them right behind their eye. They have a little opening there uh, that is where their ear is located. Uh, and they can actually hear very well. So their eyes, a lot of their senses are located at the top of their skull their eyes, their ears, and their nostrils. Uh, and that's to help with their kind of stealth hunting. And most of their hunting is done from in the water. So when they're in the water, they can actually sit there with just the very top of their head above water, and they can still hear, see, and smell everything going on around them. 